There are many myths about coolant that are commonly mistaken as true. But we're here to prove these myths wrong and help you save more of your equipment. If I have water in my cooling system, it's harmless. All water is not the same, meaning some water is not safe for the engine. Water can include many types of contaminants, including magnesium, calcium, chloride, and sulfate levels that may not meet OEM specifications. For example, drinking water should be safe for human consumption, but the amount of minerals present may be unsafe for the engine. A high total hardness increases scale potential. Scale can significantly reduce heat transfer and will act as an insulator. Not being able to remove heat can result in a higher level of oxidation, shorter oil drain intervals, and premature engine failure. Topping off with any type of water may add contaminants that do not meet OEM specifications. Contaminants like chloride and sulfate can form scale in the system, or in acidic conditions can form hydrochloric acid or sulfuric acid, leading to severe system corrosion. Adding water to a system also can lower the glycol percent, affecting the freeze and boil point protection. Boiling internally or the fluid freezing will affect overall equipment health and may lead to failure. When flushing your system, as much as one-third of the rinse water can remain in the system, which dilutes the new coolant's proper formulation and can negatively affect contamination levels and glycol concentration. With dilution, the coolant inhibitors will be affected as well. A decrease in your corrosion protection levels will lead to corrosion in the cooling system, since inhibitors are no longer adequate for metal protection. Environmental changes, such as drought, flooding from heavy rainfall, or earthquakes, can affect source water properties, even if the water once met specifications. These changes can increase contamination, lower pH levels of the water, and add unwanted contaminants. That's another coolant myth busted! Watch more videos in our series to see us prove common coolant myths wrong and help you save more of your equipment.